In this video, we're going to learn how to reduce the file size of an image in Canva or simply compress it. So we're going to select our project and once we are ready to download it, we're going to click on share and we're going to click on download. Now, at this point, you can see that we have uh, different options and uh, this one is going to be specifically for images. So it's going to apply mainly for JPEGs and uh, even PNGs. But when it comes to the JPEG, you can see that uh, you're going to be able to select uh, the size. So this is the pixel height and or actually width and height. And uh, you can see the moment that we increase or decrease this increment, the size is going to change and that is going to have an impact on the file size because the bigger the image, the bigger the file size and the smaller the image, the smaller the file size. Now that is not the only variable that we're going to reference. And by the way, when the size is at one, that means that it's uh, the original ratio that we've been working on. So keep that in mind, especially if you're working on social media posts uh, and uh, images that need to preserve the original ratio. And uh, of course, if you go all the way to, for example, two, that is going to be double the original ratio. So that uh, is how the multiplier works uh, in uh, the size section. Now, the other option that uh, you can adjust uh, is the quality. And this is going to have uh, a really big impact on uh, the actual file size output in the sense of uh, how big uh, is going to be the file size. So you can already see the preview file size is going to be medium and uh, the smaller the amount, uh, the smaller the file size. So you're probably going to want to tweak uh, this uh, download uh, the image, uh, see if it works, uh, or if you want to increase or decrease the quality based uh, on uh, your preference and project needs. And you can also limit the file size to X amount of kilobytes. So if you are looking for a very specific file size, maybe you have a maximum file size upload of uh, two megabytes and uh, you want to keep the maximum amount of quality while still basically going and not exceeding that amount. This is going to be extremely useful since it's going to allow you to have the best of both worlds. And you can also save the download settings as usual, and that is going to allow you to basically save these settings. So if you want to upload and or actually download multiple images using the same settings, you can very easily do so. Now, one more thing that I want to mention is you can also resize the project image directly from here. So this is another option which you have at your disposal if you need to simply resize a project on the go.